Again. Yeah. You're winning finals, right? Yep, against that guy over there on the couch. Then no, it's not Zach. Bailey, I got a question for you, but you got to be on the mic to answer it. You won't. <laughs> you won't. Bailey, in game one, I think, or whatever he played Zero Suit, uh, you got a down air, a landing down air, and he and you could have confirmed it up smash because he got uncheckable. Well, spin. we don't we don't know if he could have confirmed. He definitely could. He got confirmed. an uncheckable. Uncheckable. There was no uncheckable spin. Definitely confirmed. But you didn't. You didn't up smash. You went for a read instead. Did you go for that read because you recognize the untackable spin and think that untackable spin is terrible and as such didn't want to punish it? Now answer truthfully because we got a buck on it. Three, two, one, go! There you go. So he's going to roll away. All right. I, 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 lose my, I lose my dollar. It's okay. Yeah. 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 I, th I thought you were being a, a nice a, gentleman. It's okay. You, you would have won big, but it's not. It's not worth it. Right? You gotta go for the clip. All right. It's okay. I don't know how I feel about this matchup. Ah. Uh... <laughs> That's actually so That's fun. <laughs> Yo, Sandman has been also. So we talked about Bailey, but Sandman in his past matches have also looked pretty good. Turned out Zach's Cloud, and that's not an easy matchup. Yeah. That but, Cloud's pretty good. But what do you do versus Tickle? I don't know. Pin's pretty good. Tick's, Tickle's pretty good. He's good. Honestly, like he's, he's kind of good at the game. What was he ranked in Ontario? I think he was like third or something. Behind like Mistake and Black Twins? Makes sense. <laughs> he's pretty good. It's all right. Nah, he's ours just now. A, just alright. He, he's BC now. We made him. When he came from Ontario, yeah. he was so trash. Now he's, he's still but now, now he's BC. in BC. We trained him up and we, we turned him into something great. <laughs> probably watching this mod. You probably hear me, honestly. Yeah, he probably can. Tickle. That's okay. I think no, I, number three in Ontario is like, I'm going to go out to the West Coast and get big, big break. Almost. Kind of. He's, he he's, he he realized he needed to get that better. Was dumb. That was really dumb. Oh, I, he messed up the uh, recovery. He needed to be reverse, I suppose. Yeah. But like, did you see that? He just nared off a ledge and All right, stage. We're, we're getting on chance. We should be commentating some crap. Eh. Uh. All right. Wait for the roll. Whenever I play tickle, I roll. We should be both roll like a ton of players. Uh, like some frame traps. I don't know if it's a frame trap, but it looks like a frame trap. It looks like it. That beat. <laughs> Ford Air just beating forward smash is nice. Yeah, how well Those aerials are really good. Honestly. Hey, I, I like how Sam is just kinda of playing. He's like applying pressure. He's not Yeah. He's not fishing. And but he like, does like to fish. But yeah, he's no he's he's saying like pretty solid. That was that good Ashgard. Really good. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like Rosa can just float forever off stage. And that's a good pair grab. Yeah. Oh that was pretty good, honestly. He's looking good. He's looking real nice. Yeah, but Tickle, he's, he's going to make him pay. Tickle is the one to make you pay. It's true. He'll just like... I feel like there's a difference between like like learning your opponent, landing style. And what, what I like to say that Nick does is he changes. Wait, you he think Landon learns his opponent? <laughs> But I feel like Nick's just really good at becoming a different player mid game. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like he's he's always the same, but like <laughs> you just change, and or rather, oh yeah, or he makes you change, or like, but you're changing, and then he's. I feel like he's consistent. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he's hella consistent, and he'll just make you pay. He'll just make you pay. But if he's so consistent, you just you just figure out what his options are. But yeah, I, I do think. But I don't think you get him like on multiple things. Yeah. Around, uh, okay, I am not articulate at all. Mm -hmm. What I mean to say is he will adapt. He will adapt. And if you're not adapting with him, you're gonna, yeah. it's going to hurt. You, you definitely got to keep up. It's something you can expect. From num num number three, Mr. Tickle. Mr. The Tickler. Uh, have you all forgot about Great all of a sudden? Is, is, this, is he relevant? I don't know. What, what's, what's that guy about? Never say Great's irrelevant. <laughs> 
Well, the, the real, I mean, come to the UBC Weekly is. He went for. That, that's how you show relevance. <laughs> you go to UBC Weekly. Yeah, exactly. Secondary. That's how you show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you play Mario at UBC Weekly. <laughs> you play five characters for your game to get seven. <laughs> the UBC Weekly. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tickle is dominant this round. Yeah. I'm mad that kills, but it was a good ledge trap. It was very good, but yes. It's frustrating. Corbin is a frustrating character. Well, you know, he, he's slow, so you gotta give him some things. <laughs> you don't realize that Corbin is a slow character. Corbin's slow, but... It doesn't feel that way. The moves are so big. Back air, nair. Nair's so good. Yeah, as Luigi. As the Mario Bros, we feel it. Yeah. The Mario, the Mario's get hit hard by the swords. But, uh... Tickle doing well. Yeah. I think... I think the issue here is... You can't force it on uh, Corrin much. And it's even worse if you try and force it on Tickle. Yeah. Because often they'll they do a full hot forward air. They'll retreat back. They want you to overcommit. And then they can easily just hit you. Yeah. So yeah, if you're... That was great. You either got to apply some mad pressure. Or you got to... I mean, also, you got called mad pressure. That's how it works. Yeah. Or you gotta make some callouts on their uh, the movements, which can be done if you pressure. It's it's all a circle. <laughs> all a circle. Pressure. Pre pressure means the, you can the, the circle of pressure. Yeah, you pressure. You make their movements easier to see, and then you get them. And you punish them, or you make them make a mistake, or and something. that causes more pressure. Yeah. Cir cir circle. Now you're up the stock. Beautiful. <laughs> what a game. Town City. Town City choice makes a lot of sense as Rosa. I can see it. Up air. Up airs. Yeah, I think there's it's a lot. It's pretty of, nice. A lot of stages have like some nice benefits. Yeah. Like, for example, the triplats are allow you to get those Keep going, ladders. Yeah. And also, can't be under a platform is really good with Rosa on triplats. I feel like a lot of the top tiers really don't have bad stages. They just have like their best stage, and then all the other ones are like also quite good for different reasons. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, I did not expect there. that spike to hit. Nice. He makes the recovery, and he taunts. He taunt. it. Wow, that taunt His face is stoic. I did not think that taunt was gonna. No one showed any reaction, but there's a taunt on screen. It was a. I think he taunted for his own recovery. Honestly, I feel like whenever Rosa nares, it's like. You don't really know any of the hitboxes, but no. it usually just works. Yeah. It'll usually hit somehow. You don't know how, but it will. It, it, it'll just, yeah. Tickle's so good at doing that. He just, like, waits for your landing and is like, oh, I'm going to charge for smash. There's a point where, like, I know I'm going to get hit, so I just go into him. It's like, all right, so you you're, you're going to hit yeah. me, but I don't want to get tippered. Oh, my God. That's, yeah, like, unpunishable. Tickle's bringing it back, though. He's not gotten hit. Yeah. But I feel, I feel like in this matchup, both of them are like hella zoners. Yeah. Like hella. Oof. And when neither player wants to to do crap, you really... Sometimes someone's going to like try and force something. You don't want to force something. You want to move your zone. Yeah. You want to move your zone into them and just see who's better. Like if I watch like the Buzz play Cosmos... Yeah, it's just like... They, where are the zones and when your zone is like more in power yeah, that's, that, that's how you win he's just always like trying to keep outside of his giant hitboxes and then just weave in and out another thing too about Rosa is she does have some cool movement on her yeah or not cool but like I'm not saying it's not the These point I'm sorry the point I'm trying to emphasize is that a lot of her strength is her moving and being able to be swift while also having these bigger hitboxes that almost killed so I saw I saw interesting pictures. This was this was in Rivals, but it applies to Smash to Sequel as well. It was like how quick, like what is the area, like the very specific area that you can. Game. Nice, thanks that was, again. That was good. Now is the time not to get reverse three oh. Sequel um, does not look shaken. No, no, no. I, I'd be surprised. Um, like both of those characters have surprisingly large like burst spaces even though they're not fast characters Three, yeah two, pin like, and dash deck yeah they have a lot of stuff that's it can reach far fast 
mostly because of their range. And, like, that does a lot for the zones and stuff. Yeah, no, there, there's that aspect too. Uh, but of course, if those miss, yeah, a more dash type, but if uh, if pin misses, you get a, you're in a good position. Yeah. And when you're moving zones, a good position can mean a lot, mm -hmm. as opposed to just do two fast characters. Well, against two fast characters, it's kind of like the zone size doesn't matter as much. Oh, it's more, yeah. Whoa. Oh my god. That was, that was fun. That was a really interesting up air. Getting off ledge. Oh, yeah. Tickle will happen when you regrab. With the punish. He's good at spacing that. It's pretty good. Pretty good Pretty good with Corrin. Yeah, so like... Hard moving the zones. He was just moving back and forth in the center. Yeah. All right, and then he saw De Devin trying to like escape the corner, trying to regain stage. He's like, nope, pin. So he knew he'd see his value. It looks like Devin knows that's a thing. Trading with Uppy, getting the like yeah. the spike box kind of. It's a, it's kind of weird that multi hit like. I'm really curious as to how multi-hits came with this property in Smash 4, because it's a uniquely Smash 4 thing with the with the multi-hits that just kind of all have the send you down part. But it's very usable. That was a good, good punish on that. Yeah. Downer. Luma downer is pretty pretty good. Oh man, it's so hard to get down versus foreign. Yeah. Oh, well, he <laughs> connected that. was that. a nice spot for the Luma. Oh my god, it's, wow. it's, it's something gonna happen. L Luma's a, lo a way far above. Yeah. He held that center stage. Devin pushed, pushed the envelope. Nope. The roll. Uh, he's good at those games. <laughs> but Devin's still in it. I've seen him. Yeah? Oh yeah. Like that was that was good. He moved forward. He, th he thought he was gonna move backward because that's how the flow was going. And he yeah. just, just like, nope. Dash tag. Forward a little bit more. Oof. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. There you go. Are we, am I playing? Yeah, I'm playing. Good luck. Ah.